Hi guys, last time I warned you that being reclined too much is dangerous. Staying reclined within 10-12 degrees is pretty safe, but today I will explain that it's slow and inefficient. Welcome to my classroom. This is part 19 of the insight into paramodular geometry. I'm going to share all my knowledge and know-how, so by the end of this you will be able to decide what is the best paramodular for you. This is where we finished in the last episode. Uh, we concluded that flying perfectly vertical is the safest way, but not very comfortable. This is why most pilots recline the paramotor by 10 to 12 degrees, and they can do it by adjusting their suspension system. So now let's have a look what happens with the thrust line. Now, as the thrust line of the paramotor is pointing slightly upwards, you can split the force into two vectors. One is the horizontal thrust, that is necessary for maintaining level of flight, and one is the vertical. Obviously, the vertical component will unload the wing. It will effectively make you lighter underneath the glider. If you unload the wing, you will obviously fly slower, and I have the impression that you will also fly less efficient. Now, if you fly slower and you are effectively lighter on the glider, you obviously need less horizontal thrust to maintain level flight. But that's the question, how will actually the thrust change? Will you need more thrust from your propeller or less? It's not an easy conclusion, but first let's start with the analysis of speed. I don't know exactly how much is the vertical component, how much is the unloading lift force of the prop, but we'll come to that later. For this moment, let's assume it's five kilograms. So my takeoff weight is 120 kilograms, my sink rate and my horizontal flight speed. Now let's assume the unloading by five kilograms, so my effective weight will be one 15 kilograms. To calculate the new speed and the new sink rate, we use these formulas. That's the square function of the weight ratio times the original speed and the original sink rate. This, this will come to results. My new sink rate will be 1.38 instead of 1.5, and my speed will be slower as well, 9.18 compared to 10. As said before, because of the lower sink rate and the lower speed, I will need less horizontal thrust to maintain level flight. The horizontal thrust necessary to maintain level flight is calculated as the weight times sink rate divided by speed. So I need 18 kilograms of thrust uh, to maintain level flight, but when I'm unloaded to 115 kilograms, I need slightly less thrust. Now it starts to get a little complicated. This is the first case scenario where my prop is perfectly vertical and in this case my horizontal thrust needed is equals to the thrust of the propeller because the angle is zero is the same direction. Now if I get reclined a little, a little part of the propeller thrust converts into vertical lift. Now with some goniometric calculations I calculated that with a recline angle of one degree 0.31 kilograms is converted into vertical lift. That is, with one degree reclining angle, I'm effectively lighter by 0.31 kilograms. Now this 0.31 kilograms of vertical lift coming from the prop are making me effectively lighter. Thus, I need less horizontal thrust to maintain level flight. These three numbers, effective weight, horizontal thrust needed and the vertical lift by prop 
are dependent on each other, thus iteration calculations is necessary to do in the spreadsheet. Now as we continue to increase the angle, we get the full picture from 0 degrees recline, recline angle all the way to 12. And the results are pretty interesting. Due to the unloading of the wing, my speed of flight decreases by 6%. To achieve that, I need slightly lower forward thrust. Now, to achieve this horizontal thrust and this vertical lift coming from the prop, I need pretty much the same thrust by the prop. I will end up flying at the same RPM. To sum up, with the same glider, same engine and same pilot, if you recline by 12 degrees, your overall speed will be reduced by 6%, while your RPM will drop only by 1%. I don't consider this to be a good deal, and in the next video, we will analyze various alternatives, choosing between efficiency, safety and comfort. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. Should you have any questions, please leave a comment and see you soon. Ciao. Thank you.